this be a new wood, you'd certainly want to protect as much of that as you can. What you got over there, Ron? Got some of Boy, this is some groceries, I'm telling you about. It's time for Down Home in the Tri-States with your host, Ron Jones. If it's farming, gardening, information, or just plain interesting, you can catch it all right here on Down Home in the Tri-States. This is my Uncle Jethro. Uncle Jethro. Yeah, he's the last one of the siblings. It's Down Home in the Tri-States, and we're on. Glad to have you with us, too, folks. I, I tell you what, we enjoy doing this program, and we enjoy having you watch us every week and uh, uh, patronizing our sponsors so we can do this show. Just, uh, remember, that's how we pay for it. want to remind you about a few things. Uh, the Gospel Sing at the Panhandle Pioneer Settlement uh, is going to be January the 17th, 2015. That's going to be from 5.30 p.m. till 7, featuring the Fortress from uh, Hosford, Florida. Also, on that same day, January 17th, a blacksmithing class starts at 8 a.m. Central Time. There's a $50 charge per person and a $25 deposit. You can call 674-2777, 674-2777. That's 850, of course, and uh, talk to them about it if you need some more information. Also, uh, boy, I met a lot, of, a lot of nice folks over at Gunner's Oyster Bar and Restaurant during the grand opening over there. Uh, on January the 1st, and they had a real nice time. I'll tell you what, folks, y'all got to go visit Gunners. In Vernon, Florida, next to Dollar General, they got some stuff. I'll tell you what, good stuff. And uh, Freddie Whitfield, well-known cook, chef in this area. He's, he's right there in Vernon, Florida. Vic's got him at Gunners, so y'all need to go. See old Gunner, too. Gunners a good old boy. Yeah. Oh, let's see. That's a fantastic place. Money. Yes, sir. Fresh money. You can tell that's fresh. That's what you eat. Those are good looking money. Got me some collard green soup. Alto got his fried mullet. Yeah, sure he do. Loves, he loves fried mullet. You're just getting this thing going, and, and so far from what I'm seeing, it looks really, really good. And I think it's going to be a big hit. It's just kind of a, it's kind of your old fashioned laid back oyster ball. Uh, that's what people like, Ron. You know, they like the old hole in the wall type places. This used to be a bait shop out here. And, the history was a, a bait shop first and then rolled into an oyster bar with Bubba Wagner and then he got out of the business a couple of years back. So we just picked it back up and with our chef that we got lucky to have here, uh, Freddie Whitfield. Yeah. We're going to run a special each day and I highly recommend whatever he's running that day, everybody needs to take a bite. All right, folks, we want to run all about the drawing that we're going to have. you got to get your names in, okay? We're going to have all this good stuff. This here deer stand has been used one time. One time, nice deer stand. It's a real tree. Got a high score rifle rest. Everybody needs one of these. This is a beautiful piece of equipment right here, folks. High score rifle rest. Got a mossy oak, a deer horse to the gambrel. Pull your deers up. Court Jordan's replica deer skull mounts these are nice they're a nice way to uh, uh display your uh, antlers these are real nice folks these are good these are good things here we're gonna be adding to this stuff so y'all want to be sure and get your names in okay we're gonna have a lot more stuff so y'all need to get your names in we got some good stuff we're gonna be giving away we also got this uh, coat rack that eric too donated and uh, we're gonna be giving this is a nice tell you what this is this is all cypress even Peanut likes it, don't you, Peanut? Uh-huh. Peanut likes it. It's all cypress, folks. Hey, want to save some money? Look at him. Nobody will ever know where, it, where you put it. Drop it down there. I guarantee you, when this thing gets full, you're going to have some bucks, baby. Nice. Tabitha, she, she wants me to put her name in already. You know, Tabitha, Tabitha from uh, Easy Care. She saw that. She said, I'm going to have to have one of those. Those are nice. Like I say, you can't win if you don't get your name in, okay? You can send it to us or you can email it to us, whatever you want to do. And you can enter as many times as you like. 
uh, you can't enter 10 times in one envelope. You've got to send separate envelopes. You know, we'd be trying to be fair with this thing. So, anyway, y'all get your names in. Get you some stuff. We're going to be add, adding to this, too. So, y'all watch this, and uh, that's our sponsors. And we'll be back in just a minute. Today on the show, we're going to have... Uh, uh, Mr. Leonard Edwards, we went over and visited with him on, on the kind of, uh, syrup making day. We're going to have that on. Also, uh, some highlights from the uh, Dennis Gainer's uh, antique track. Of course, our update on the Washington County death trap in ben, on Ben Roads. It's, uh, we're going to have that on, too. So, still going on. So, y'all watch this, and we'll uh, be back. Yes, sir. It used to be people needing tree service like removal and pruning had to accept what they could get. That is until now. Meet Easy Care Tree and Lawn Experts. Easy Care is now the tree and lawn service of choice in this area. They know what can be done and what can't be done and what needs to be done. We start out with the tree removal process and then move on to the clean up, the haul off, and the sweep up process. And if the customer needs it, we also offer the stump grinding. With Easy Care, you'll get an honest appraisal and an honest job. I'm Dal Morris, and we go to any length to please our customers. At Easy Care, our main goal is to keep the homeowner happy. With Easy Care, you can feel safe. We're fully licensed and insured. And with Easy Care's large and experienced, hardworking crew, they will be there to take care of your request. At Easy Care, we believe to do the right job, you have to have the right tool. Trust the experts. Call them today. Regardless of whether you have a one-day job, a two-day job, or a month job, no job is too big or too small for Easy Care Lawn and Tractor. Beautiful! Folks, if there's one thing I like to share with my viewers, that's fact. And the fact is, Gunner's Oyster Bar and Restaurant in Vernon, Florida beats even the best hands down. The secret to a successful Florida seafood kitchen is the man in the kitchen. Well, when Vic Starling took over from previous owner Bubba Wagner, he found the best chef and brought him all the way up. Chef and cook Freddie Whitfield is known all over the area. From succulent shrimp served three ways, fried and smoked mullet, mm, mm, mm. or how about a good hot bowl of Gunner's world famous chili or his famous low country bowl gumbo. There ain't none better folks and you'll love Freddy's famous sauteed shrimp a hit from Apalachicola to Destin. Daily specials also available located right on Highway 79 just south of Vernon. If you're coming to the beach, traveling back home or just want to check them out. Take my word folks, Gunner's has my five stars. Join Vic, old Gunner and the whole friendly staff. Gunner's is the best and that's a fact. It's official. Surplus Salvage in Shipley, Florida is the people's choice for a quality metal roofing at the best and lowest possible price. Why? Because you don't have to wait weeks to get your metal roofing and get to work on your project. It's all made on the spot while you wait. And Surplus Salvage of Chipley can provide the best selection of colors. Ten colors available at a low dollar eighty-nine a foot. Galvaloom a low dollar thirty a foot. You heard me right on these prices. Stop in. Tell them how much and what length. Load it up and folks, you're on your way. Why wait two or three weeks when you can drive off with it the day you come in. Do business with the people's choice. Surplus Salvage of Chipley. Tell them Ron sent you. We'll appreciate it. 638-7353. What is, what is that in it? Guava jelly or the guava. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. No guava. Oh, guava jelly. Give me a biscuit here. Some meat to go on. What do you got? You got bones. I don't like bones. You like bones? No. My dog does. Does he? What's your name? Roy. 
Roy. Roy? Yeah. How you doing, Roy? All right. So you're the, you're the main strainer, huh? Yeah. All right. Left the press that can last I still be sleeping sound Love is out on no chance to move the heart rain going down Now is my time I see him in there. Did you? Uh huh. Yeah, I told you he's been Who's y'all? Who's all your friends? I know who she is. <laughs> she used to be shy until she. I saw everybody sort of said, "I saw you on TV, and it's, mm. she liked it then." I reckon she picked up a few boyfriends. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, no boyfriends. We'd find you one. Yeah, ain't lost them running around here. <laughs>
off of my mind. Well, the places you're most likely to encounter a tough, rugged, aggressive, yet gentle rhino. Up and down the rivers and lakes, everywhere that I go, people are doing double takes, checking out my rhino. No doubt about it, it's the very best. Even my mother-in-law is impressed. Now you know what I know. Make your boat a rhino. Fresh, clean, salty, washed, iced, and ready to go. Oysters at Main Street Market. Bags or pints. Hurry, folks. Seminole Feed from Main Street Market. When people care about their pets and animals, they want the best. That's why they feed them Seminole Feed, the world's best equine food. High fat, calorie rich, feed for breeding, performance, endurance, and show horses. Premium performance dog food, 26% crude protein. Don't settle for any less. Check out the complete line of Seminole Feed at Main Street Market. Seminole Feed, the best you can get. Hey, you need it? We've got Main it. Street Market. We're located on the corner of Highway 90 and 77 in Chipley, Florida. Well, yes. just Mr. Leonard Edwards right here. He's uh, he's in charge of this thing right here. This is a cane squeezing day, a syrup making day. What do you call this thing? I never. Just syrup making day. Just a syrup making day, and uh, y'all seen some of the footage of the way this stuff done, and uh, I've been getting some footage of that. It's, it's, it's cooking, and he said, "Wait about ten minutes, and I get some syrup." I said, "All right, so we'll wait." So, uh, how you been doing? We had not seen you since last year. That's good. Good, good. Health, health doing okay? Yeah, good, good. Well, that's good. How old are you now? 79. 79. 79, still kicking. Yeah. I always say if you get up and get out of bed. Yeah. Get up and get out of bed, you make a stop. Still going, yeah. yeah. So, all right, so. Well, we appreciate you inviting us over. And, uh, yep, we're proud you come. We plan on you being here next year, too, okay? Uh, maybe we're happy. All right, well, you, you, you yeah. let us know, okay? Uh, Thank you, sir. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, it's all gone. Thank Tony. How you doing, Tony? I'm fine, thank you. I think last year you was over there skimming, skimming that syrup. I know. I'm trying to take it easy this week. Are you? Yeah. Not feeling too good, huh? All the yeah. juice. I'm okay. Yeah. Let's let other people yeah. join in. Yeah. It's fun. Well, how you been doing? Good. good. fine. I've been sitting here talking to his daddy. Life's good. Yeah. See if I get out. He just had a birthday. Oh, that's right. He just had a birthday about this time. So, and he said he was 79. Mm -hmm. 79. Yeah. So it's he's been... got a few years on. Oh yeah. Now he's good though. Yeah. He never stops. Get a good shot of y'all too, so I'll have one just you and your daddy. How about that? That's good. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Smile, that big smile. the trees along the river bend lift up their branches to the sun above we spend a lifetime reaching for a friend Cause everybody needs someone to love everybody's reaching out for someone Knocking at some door Long before I ever found you You're the one that I was reaching for Before I 
From turkey hunting to deer hunting and everything in between, your best shot is King. King's Outdoors can take care of your hunting, fishing, and shooting needs year-round. We have an extensive selection of ammunition, including Remington, Federal, Winchester, and Hornady. Ladies, if you need a firearm and have no idea where to start, Perry and his friendly, helpful staff will make you feel right at home. Here at King's Outdoors, we have all major brands of handguns, shotguns, rifles, scopes, and accessories including Browning, Beretta, Savage, Remington, and Marlin. From deer rifles, shotguns, and handguns to fishing supplies for all fishermen and lady anglers, King's Outdoor stocks the best. Need prescriptions? At King's, we've been meeting your prescription needs since 1977. If you're headed to the beach, put King's on your stop and stock up before you get there. They're located right on Main Street. That's Highway 77 in Chipley, Florida, in front of the hospital. Just look for the big red canopy. Here at King's, we'll work hard to earn your business and keep your business. Y'all come see us. King's Discount Drugs and King's Outdoor. Folks, if there's one thing I like to share with my viewers, that's fact. And the fact is, Gunner's Oyster Bar and Restaurant in Vernon, Florida beats even the best hands down. The secret to a successful Florida seafood kitchen is the man in the kitchen. Well, when Vic Stalling took over from previous owner Bubba Wagner, he found the best chef and brought him all the way up. Chef and cook Freddie Whitfield is known all over the area. From succulent shrimp served three ways, fried and smoked mullet, mm, mm, mm. or how about a good hot bowl of Gunner's world-famous chili or his famous low country ball gumbo. There ain't none better, folks, and you'll love Freddy's famous sautéed shrimp, a hit from Apalachicola to Destin. Daily specials also available, located right on Highway 79, just south of Vernon. If you're coming to the beach, traveling back home, or just want to check them out, take my word, folks, Gunner's has my five stars. Join Vic, old Gunner, and the whole friendly staff. Gunner's is the best, and that's a fact. To watch the evening news What I saw made me want to crawl right through that tube They were talking about a wedding But they only showed two men So I fired off an email with an invite just for them Come on down to the farm Come on out to the barn You won't see two roosters walking arm in arm They couldn't make a chicken They don't have an egg to hatch when God said, love your brother, I don't think he meant like that. Now in that little email, I commenced to tell them how Two mares can't make a stallion, and two bulls can't make a cow. Well, that takes a male and female for the species to go on. There'll be no reproduction if the plumbing is all wrong. Come on down to the farm, come on out to the barn. You won't see two roosters walking arm in arm. They couldn't make a chicken, they don't have an egg to hatch. When God said, love your brother, I don't think he meant like that. Now we used to teach our children all about the birds and bees. Now the world is telling them, do anything you please. We need to get back to the Bible, back to the gospel truth. 
Cause a million happy ganders never gonna make a single goose. So come on down to the farm, come on out to the barn. You won't see two roosters walking arm in arm. They couldn't make a chicken, they don't have an egg to hatch. When God said, love your brother, I don't think he meant like that. When God said, love your brother, I don't think he meant like that. It ain't normal. I don't care what to say. It just ain't normal. As you can see, folks, the grader just went by. You see how he had to swing to the left over here to get around that death trap. This is one on Monroe, Washington County. This uh, real soft and soggy right here. Just level that off a little bit. All that's got to happen now is a good heavy rain, and that's just going to wash on down in there. Barricade still down in there just like it was. Nothing done to correct the problem though. Just drive on by, right on by. Shame, shame. Don't y'all like it when I get on my soapbox? <laughs>